Hello, Namaskar. This is a quick video on uh, using this very handy little device called the CVT-01 from Flysky. Now this device basically allows you to read your battery voltage onto your transmitter. And it's very useful in situations where you don't have telemetry or OSD. Extremely useful in situations where you're flying aero models and uh, need to keep an eye on your battery so that you can land on time. So let's try and figure out how to use this. Uh, we'll also try and figure out where to get it from and how much it costs, but let's take a look at it first. So this is what it looks like. Small tiny mini thing. Comes from a manufacturer called Flysky, which is what the system is out here. Uh, has two sets of cables. Let's try and figure out how to use it. For which, uh, of course, we have the transmitter. Uh, we'll be needing a battery. We need a receiver, obviously, to demonstrate this whole thing. And uh, to power up the receiver, I've got my small BC out here, which I can uh, connect to the battery and maybe provide 5 volts to the receiver so let's try and see how to use this uh, very important though this can be used only with b series receivers i mean if you notice down here we have the 10 b receiver works equally well with the 6b uh, reason being that these receivers uh, let me just put it up here in the light have this special sensor port out here. Do you see that? Let me try and zoom a bit. So the first C three set of pins down here, horizontal pins, are meant for the sensor port. The A series receivers do not have this port, so obviously you can't use this device uh, with those receivers. Anyhow, let's try and see how to do this. Uh, Quick connection diagram first of all, which tells us how to hook up the whole thing. So you have the receiver here, you have this port down here, which is the sensor port. The CVT01 unit is down here and that's your battery down here. The way we connect it is typically we connect the CVT01 to the balance port of the battery. Please be very careful about this. It connects to the balance port. The other end of the CVT-01 goes into the sensor port and that's how it's connected. You basically have the signal or the white line. It could be yellow in your case, whatever. The voltage line and the ground. The signal line goes on the right if you looking at the receiver from the top. Let's try and hook it up now to see how this whole thing works. So we take the CVT-01 Notice three sets of cables, hook it on such that the white cable in our case goes on the right. We'll pick up the battery. We have a sample battery down here and we'll obviously try this with various different batteries. Uh, now this needs to be hooked on to the balance port, which is this one, not this one. This is where you'll be taking power out into your uh, ESC or PDB or whatever else. So the CVT-01 has these two pins which connect to your balance port. Now these pins or these wires are in red and black. The red one goes to the red end of your balance port and the black one goes to the black extreme end of your balance port. This is how we do it. Red into red. Black into black. So the red cable down here is going to the red side of your balance port. The black cable of the CVT-01 is going to the extreme end of your balance port, the black side. 
Now, if we power this on using this small BC that we have, which obviously we'll have to connect to the receiver. Uh, this is not a very high-tech gadget, just a small BEC that we have kind of soldered to power the receiver down here. So, if we now power on the receiver, the receiver gets power. Now, let's see how to use this. And to understand how to use it, let's first try and look at the typical scenario where let's say you have the transmitter. In this case, we are using the i6x. Uh, interestingly, uh, the CVT-01 seems to work better on the i6x than the normal i6, which is slightly cheaper. Anyhow, uh, so if you look at this normal transmitter, when you switch it on, uh, up here, it shows you the transmitter battery voltage, which is the internal battery, and there's nothing down below. Interestingly, once we hook on the battery, let's see, try and see what happens. We're going to try and come back to this screen to see what happens to this part. So when we power on the receiver, there you go. Now, if you look carefully at the screen, it shows RX out here. Now, lots of people believe that this is actually the battery voltage, which is not actually correct. It just tells you that your receiver is getting power. It does not tell you the exact battery voltage, which is what we are looking for. Out here on the screen, again, what you see, 4.56 volts, is the transmitter battery voltage, which is behind down here, obviously. There is no indication of what your battery voltage is. And that is exactly what we are trying to get. Now, try and, let's try and see how to do that. We've got this whole thing connected here. First thing we have to do is Go to the transmitter, open the menu, and scroll down to RX setup. Sorry, I missed it. RX setup. Once we come down here, there's an option called choose sensors. We go to that particular option. Uh, so once you're on this option, <clears throat> uh, we go down and choose the sensors we want to display on the main screen. And the way it works is very simple. The default one is uh, TX voltage. We use OK to go down to the second one. Use up down to select the additional sensor that you want. And the one that we want is, in our case, the external voltage sensor, which is EXT V2 down here. Save that, head back to the main screen. And now if you look at the screen very carefully, out here, what we are getting is the exact battery voltage, which is being fed back from this CVT-01 to the receiver and coming back to us on the transmitter. Here's the other interesting thing that we can do with this. Uh, go back to the menu. Come back to your RS, RS, uh, receiver setup, sorry, and uh, go down to RX battery. Now, if you go here, you can actually uh, set up the various parameters that you want for your external sensor. So, for example, what would be the low, low battery voltage? At what level do you want the alarm? Uh, and what's the peak voltage? The interesting thing out here is the alarm where... If the battery falls below this threshold, you'll actually get an alarm on your transmitter. Uh, and then you know it's time for you to land the machine. Simple as that. Uh, other thing that you might want to look at is if you go back again to the menu, come to system, go back to RX setup, come back to sensor list. And out here, it shows you all the sensors that we currently have configured on the system. The new one that we configured is the third one that you see down here is external V2, which is currently showing us 11.18 uh, volts or whatever. Uh, here's the interesting thing. Let's try one more thing. Uh, we go back and disconnect this battery. We'll put in uh, another battery down here just to check whether, I mean, things are working properly or not. 
with a different battery and now if you go here there it is this particular battery is on 11.24 uh, volts so that's how you use this system very nice cute little thing not very expensive also and very very useful uh, for aero modelers and quadcopter flyers or whatever multi-rotor flyers out there who don't want to use OSD or don't have telemetry. Thank you very much. Please do let us know if you need any further uh, help on using this thing. See you next time.